Hello, I am Axel MC131 and welcome back to Behind the Blocks in Minecraft 1.8. And today I have a absolutely command-free system to show you guys. This is uh, a nine-digit combination lock, and you can um, set this to have any um, combination that you really want, I guess. Uh, I have this set with a three-digit combination at the moment. So if I just enter, hang on a minute. Haha! -ha. Excellent. And uh, this is a fantastic way for storing all your valuables. For example, whew, a stack of diamond blocks. Wouldn't that have taken a long time to get? Uh, and this can be closed from the inside and locked and then reopened again from the inside. And then you can step out here and close it again without having to go through the process of re-entering the code. Now this is this does follow that code that I put in. So if I just put in any other numbers, nothing will happen. Uh, and you also have to put them in fast enough. So if I go one, two, three, they all all three buttons have to be depressed at the same time, which will make it difficult if you have um, four or more digits in the code. So I've settled for three. So if I just do that again, there we go, and close it again. So here is the system that's running that. This is just behind the um, combination here. And you'll see that what I have here are redstone repeaters, which are, sorry, redstone repeaters, redstone torches. And they are on the back of the block that has um, the actual buttons that run the combination. And what's happening here is we're actually going to test um, using this for all three buttons to be off. And if all three buttons have been pressed at the same time, all these torches will turn off and this redstone here will turn off. This is powered by all three torches, so all three need to be turned off at the same time. Then this redstone torch will then turn on, this is an inverter here, and we have a uh, monostable circuit here, which is just a piston, and then a repeater here. So that repeater will just flicker on, and that will enable this, which is a little T flip-flop here. So that piston will extend, and it will either push the block out or pull it back in um, each pulse. So as long as this is pushed out, this will activate this, because we have a redstone torch down here. Run it around there through that redstone repeater, which is just to extend the pulse, and these pistons are actually pushing that door open, as you can see. Now what happens is that when they, that uh, combination is put in, um, it will activate, it will turn this off, this will then activate, uh, This the monostable circuit will um, toggle, and this will pull that block back. This redstone torch will then no longer be powering this redstone here, it will turn off, and the pistons will retract. Now the button on the inside here, there is linked to this block here, which is manually powering that, which means that rather than putting in the combination, you can just press that button, and after a short delay, it will do that. So the door is now closed. Sorry, door is now open, as you can see. And then if you want to toggle it again, hit the button again, door is now closed. All right, so that's pretty a pretty messy way of showing it. I have a much simpler, cleaner way here, and this is just using stained clay to give you an idea. And I've only got the buttons that actually activate the uh, lock. Now, the wonderful thing about this system is that you can actually change the combination at a moment's notice. So, at the moment, this is set to those three buttons there, which if I break all the non-corresponding clay, there we go, you will see that they activate that. Uh, and this is actually very simple to build. As you can see, this is compl completely survival um, friendly. Right, so if I just grab a redstone torch, and if I want to change, say, this bottom digit there, to be, instead of there, to be here, I'll put that there, and all I have to do is bring the redstone over there so it still activates. So what you, the criteria for a successful combination is basically that um, this redstone here must connect to all three torches, or however many torches you have, so that if all three torches are turned off, this will turn off and it will then activate this, the um, signal. So now I have changed this combination, and the door opens. So I've just put some um, blocks there to show you guys. And you can see the reasoning for why you have to put them all at the same time, because as long as this button is off, that torch turns off. But then the torch turns back on once the button is depressed. So if I go one, two, turns those two off. One, two, three, and they're all off. And you can see this redstone will then turn off for a brief second while all three torches are off. And that then activates that, activates the monostable circuit, pulses the flip-flop, and it toggles this between on and off. And then once again we have a little reset button here 
which is on a delay so that you can um, activate it while you're in the room and step out before the door closes. On the system over here, it's um, in such a position that that's not actually necessary because it is close enough to here that you can actually stand just in front of the door and reach the button from there without having to move. But if you wanted a larger room or you wanted the button uh, in a less awkward position like round the corner over here, um, you can do that and you can have it on a shorter or longer delay as you like. Um, so that you have time to get out of the room before it closes. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. If you want to get an idea for how exactly this is built, uh, take a screenshot of that. That is the best um, shot that you're probably going to get. That's pretty much all there is to it. And you can expand this into any way you like. Um, I think that three digits works best for the combination. When you get to four, it tends to get a bit um, difficult to press them all at once. Uh, unless you're very quick with a mouse. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. A uh, nine-digit combination lock in, Minecraft, in vanilla Minecraft, in survival Minecraft, in fact, uh, which is very easy to do. All you need is a bit of redstone, two pistons, uh, oh, sorry, four pistons. In fact, this doesn't even need to be um, for a door. This can be for anything. You can have this pulse activate whatever the hell you want. Um, and yeah, that's all there is to it. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. I've been XLMC131, and I'll see you next time.